Hello, my name is Mac McLean, and today I will be presenting a policy to reduce and regulate plastic waste. For too long, plastic has gone unregulated and has began to cause problems for our country. We need to act now in order to save the environment. Tons of plastic are getting dumped into lakes, rivers, and oceans of America every single day. In fact, by 2050, the United Nations projects that there will be more plastic in the world's oceans than there are fish. The plastic is also harmful to the fish and other organisms in the ocean and is beginning to destroy the ocean's ecosystem. Plastic is promoted as being reusable and recyclable. Everyone knows the alliterative saying, reduce, reuse, recycle. However, it is a fact that 91% of all plastic goes unrecycled, and this totally defeats the main purpose for continuing to use plastic. As previously mentioned, the sheer amount of plastic in the oceans is not only affecting the organisms, but also the water itself. 41% of Americans live near the coast, and nobody wants to have their water contaminated with tons of plastic bags, bottles, and other plastic items. In addition, people who are fishermen for a living are getting hit hard by plastic. The affected fish that plastic destroys creates a downward spiral for the rest of the ocean's ecosystem. It is becoming more and more difficult for fishermen to catch healthy fish that are consumable and selling, sellable to restaurants. This is A, destroying fishermen's business, but also B, driving up prices for seafood in restaurants, which is something that nobody wants. Although attempting to solve this problem may cause a lot of money in the short term, the long-term benefits of this policy will greatly exceed the cost. We need to focus on our future as a country, and we cannot have a locked-in, limited vision of the present. If we don't act now, the ramifications of more plastic in the ocean could greatly impact our nation. Even in an ideal world with no economic costs, there will always be social kickback from any policy that is proposed. Many people do not like change, even if it is for the better. For this proposal to work, the people must move past the costs and instead emphasize and focus on the future benefits. The last hurdle of this proposal is that there will be political opposition. Per usual, support will need to come from both sides of the aisle. Hopefully, the representatives and senators will see that we need to act now and that we cannot keep pushing back this issue for future generations to deal with. It is time to act. The first possible solution for this issue is to outright ban plastic. While this could be extremely effective and radicals may support this, we need to take a less extreme approach. Outlawing plastic would destroy many businesses and kill tons of jobs, which is the last thing that we want as a country. Another very viable step forward for this policy would be to implement security cameras along litter common littering spots. This would discourage the dumping of plastic in the water and could lead to punishments for those who break the law. However, there are many people that distrust the government and would be strongly against adding more surveillance. The best solution for this issue is to regulate plastic. Fines and other punishments will also be handed down to businesses who are found to be littering plastic in the oceans. Individuals are also not immune from these fines and punishments. We will regulate plastic by cutting plastic use in half and requiring that plastic be continuously decreased in use. Furthermore, the government will allocate funds to businesses who make the switch to paper bags. Increased taxes on plastic bags will drive businesses to make the switch, and more demand will cause greater competition in the paper bag industry. With more competition, prices will be driven down and there will be a smooth transition to paper over plastic. Unfortunately, not all small bu all businesses will be able to take the small hit of switching to paper bags. For small businesses, it will be more difficult for them to switch, and we will need additional funding from the government to help keep these businesses afloat. Another option for this is to give a grace period for these businesses to make the switch to paper bags. They will be exempt from the taxes in this time. Meanwhile, larger corporations will be able to make the switch with relatively small repercussions. 
The environmental impact of regulating plastic will end the United Nations projection that there will be more plastic than fish in the oceans by 2050. This will not only help the organisms in the ocean and the surrounding ecosystem, but also the businesses that rely on animals in the ocean. One risk of this policy is that the bill may pass, but there will be no effect. If there is a lack of enforcement and abundance of laziness, it will be nearly impossible to save the environment. The government needs to make sure that the bill is enforced and that the people and the businesses are following the law. There is also an economic risk to this policy. Many stores that rely heavily on plastic bags, such as Home Depot, Stop and Shop, Palmer's, Walmart, and so many more, may be opposed to this bill and may choose to take the fine and continue to use plastic bags. The government needs to make sure that this doesn't happen and have a strong hand in enforcing this policy. Finally, the last risk that is the least unlikely is that the people will protest this bill and effectively render it useless. A protest of this scale hasn't happened in quite a while, and it is very unlikely to happen over the regulation of plastic. The people and the senators do not need to worry about this. It may seem as if there are many risks and negative effects that come with this bill, but this is fairly standard for all policies. A positive change never occurred by always taking the safe route, and we need to take a leap of faith in order to fix this problem for the sake of the ecosystem, the sake of the future, and the sake of America. For a quick recap, the regulation of plastic may seem to have many short-term negative effects. Oppositions and costs may be high, but the long-term effects of saving the environment and saving our oceans and saving our country is definitely worth the costs. We need to act now in order to keep our nation thriving. Thank you for considering and watching a policy to reduce and regulate plastic waste. And it is, don't forget, it is time to act.